Hi everyone, we are back after a couple months of not doing a video. Uh, we wanted to share what was going on with the kids and in our everyday life. <clears throat> but before we get to that, I wanted to share with you that Love Every sent another play kit to us. I think this is, oh well, Brinley's getting one. I'm gonna do a separate video on hers. But this is Caden's first one. And this one is The Babbler. And it is for months 13, 14, and 15. Obviously, he's only three months going on four. But I did my research on all of their play kits and I felt like this was a good fit for her. She's two and a half. I felt like she could play with it for a little bit and then he could obviously grow into it. So let's get started about what's in there. So first and foremost, they always give you a guide and tells you what your baby should be doing during those months, kind of some milestones. And then they give you different ideas of how to interact with each item that comes in the box. So the first things first is it comes with the books. Now I must say, Brinley has three Love Every Play Kits and every single book that comes in the play kit is her favorite, by far. She does not want to put the book down. I mean, she pretty much has this book memorized already. We've only had this kit for a few days. So this is bedtime for Zoe and it's basically her taking a bath and getting her hair washed. But then what happens when she gets her hair washed? She doesn't like it because it gets in her eyes. in her eyes. So then what does the mama tell her to do? Look up. She says to what? Look up. Look up so that the water doesn't get in her eyes. That's right. So anyways, the book carries on, but this is definitely one of Brinley's favorites. And then the next thing is this slide and seek ball run. So it comes with two balls. I want to show how it works. And you put them in the top. Or there. And then when the balls go in, there's four ways to get the balls out. There's this open door, this one, you can pull it down, or you have to reach your hand inside of here to get the balls out. So Brinley's been playing with this for a while. She also has been putting her Mickey friends in there. Um, this is, I think, going to be a big hit for when Kaden gets older as well. And then the other thing is this puzzle. Brinley loves puzzles. So she, this is super easy for her, obviously, because she's two and a half. I don't like it. Well, you don't need it right now. But it's just they need to match the circles with the correct size. So, and then there's like a picture of a kid on each one. So this one will be a good practice for Kaden. Well, you're not playing with it. Then the next one is this felt bunny burrow set. What? It comes with I got <laughs> comes with three bunnies. Brinley's been playing with these bunnies quite often. Bunnies. Although now she's saying she's a mom. And so it just just something for them to play with, and it can go inside their hole or inside their home if they want. You want to put it in, or do you want to hold that bunny? Hold it. Okay, you hold that one. And then the other one is this. Flexible wood stacker. So when I first got it, I was wondering why this was so like flimsy, so flexible, but it's to help with the baby to put the rings on and off easily. So like if they're struggling, you can like tilt it, how so. Um, and then they can also go in these circles. So Brinley's also been playing with this. I think this is gonna be fun for them as well. <laughs> and then we have the, I think it's all, okay. So this thing, this well, this is the carrot lid with the carrot. So this box in general comes with three lids and they all have like a challenge to them in a different way. So obviously the lid that's on this is for the carrots only and then you can push it in. Do they go in? Yeah. Maybe not, maybe they just do like that. Yay! And to get them out, it's like a magnetic bottom. So you just pull it off and then whatever's in there comes out. If you want to interchange the lids, there's you just kind of like go inside and there's like a little flap there and it comes off. Put the bottom on and then let's say she wants, this is the coin lid. Then you just put the coins inside as so. They come with five circular coins. And then 
to get them out. Brindley, can you pull the lid off? It's kind of tricky. And then they all come out. And then the last lid that they give you, let me take this one off. This last lid is more of a challenge, which I'm struggling. There we go. I personally like this lid because, I mean, again, this is for, you know, a 12, 13, or 13, 14, 15 month old. Yeah. But Brinley can do this. So they don't give you the Q-tips, these were just mine. Um, There's 16 small, small holes on top. Okay, you're struggling. Here, do this one, that one's kind of shredded. Try this one. Get it in, push. And then, yeah. So this is definitely more of a challenge to put into the box, but who doesn't like a challenge? So I think that's pretty much everything with this box. Um, again, Brynley's gonna play with it for now until Caden gets older, but as he gets older, he can still play with this stuff. Um, maybe not in the correct way, but he'll eventually get there. So anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys was, um, this video is coming out on Thanksgiving and that is when Love Every is starting a big sale. So I'm gonna read it from my phone so that I don't make any mistakes. They are giving thirty dollars. They are giving thirty dollars off a new Play Kit subscription with the code Play Kit Thirty. It starts Thanksgiving Day at eight a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, and it ends Monday, November 29th at you know eleven fifty nine p.m. So go ahead, and if you're interested, check out their website. Look at any of the Play Kits and try this one. See if there's one that you like. They're giving $30 off. I think that's a really good deal. Um, again, Brinley has three of these play kits and she still to this day plays with all of them. No matter what age or no matter what age range she has, she still plays with them. We have some toys that are down here, some that are in her room. We have them spread out everywhere because she uses them. So go ahead and check out their website. See if there's anything that you're interested in. If the play kits don't kind of scream to you. There's many, many other things that you guys can you order for your baby. Brindley. So anyways, go ahead and check out their website. I wanted to add that not only do we have the Love Every Play Kits, but we also have their Play Gym. We got this when I was pregnant with Caden, so Brindley never got the chance to use it, but he absolutely loves this. It is something we put him on at least two or three times a day. Um, I did do a review on this play gym. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description below. And then we also have Love Every Frames, the animal frames. I did a video on this as well. Um, I believe these are 18 by 18, if I'm correct. So we got three of them, which I love. These are like perfect for this playroom. So we have a lot of Love Every products in our house that we are very pleased with. It's extremely good quality and yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we definitely will continue ordering from them because the kids love them and Ryan and I love them so much. On to an update on how we're all doing. A quick, quick update. Um, I'm surviving much better with two kids. I would say the first six weeks was super hard. I asked for help. It was a huge help to have that help. Um, but I'm feeling like we're in much better routine with the kids and um, we're all doing pretty good. Some days are hard though. So Miss Brinley is two and a half. We have been looking into preschools for her, which has been crazy. Um, we have one more to look at before deciding what we want to do. Um, she has her passy, as you can see. Brinley, is somebody going to come and get your passies? Yeah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to come and get them? What? The Passy Fairy? Yeah. Yeah. Passy Fairy's gonna come in like a week or two. And she's gonna take Brinley's Passies and give Brinley a present. No. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. Um, it's time. She's two and a half. And she doesn't need them. Um, at nighttime is gonna be the biggest struggle because she has to have one in her mouth and one in each hand. It's just a comfort thing. But they need to go. She doesn't need them. She's been breaking them anyway, so I'm not buying her any more new ones. So that's that. Um, what else is new, Missy? You love your Mickey friends. 
You're very into your Barbies, which were my Barbies. I think Santa's gonna bring you new Barbies. What no. do you? Oh, you don't want new Barbies? No. Yeah, she's I'm like in this definitely more tantrumy stage. Typical toddler. Let's move on to somebody who's always happy. He just finished Me? eating. Mr. Caden. <clears throat> He's probably not gonna do anything with the camera. No, you'll be distracted. Caden is three months going on four soon. He has found his voice. I'll insert a video of how loud and crazy he gets. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> so Caden is sleeping through the night still. He's been sleeping through the night since he was two months old. <laughs> Haven't you? He takes four naps a day. They range around 45 minutes to an hour. And we've just recently, we were rocking him to go to sleep and now we, it was taking too long. And so we've learned our lesson with Brinley and so we just basically put him in the crib awake it's been the best thing we ever did. So funny how you learn things from like your first kid because Brinley like needed her passies. Caden does not care for passies, right Ryan? Nope. It is awesome. Doesn't want him, doesn't care. Nope. He uh, sucks his two fingers yeah. just like his mama um, and that pretty much puts him to sleep. So he's good. We are, we're good with him, right Ryan? Yeah, he's awesome. Anything he's else about him? Trying to think, uh, he's just easy going. I think he's seven, what, 17 pounds? Oh yeah, so with uh, Brinley's feeding therapy, she gets twice a week. Um, her therapist is nice enough to weigh Caden, and he's 17 pounds. He's three months old and he's 17 pounds. Brinley just hit the 26 pound marker, but that's not consistent. I'm sure when she gets weighed again, it won't be 26. Yeah, he's rolled over a couple times. He rolled over, Brinley rolled over at three months too, but um, yeah, he's doing pretty good, aren't you? Yeah, he loves his little bouncy seat. You guys, I talked about this bouncy seat before. You have to get it. I don't care if you buy it from the company or buy it on Marketplace, <laughs> which is what we did. Um, it's the Baby Bajoran Bouncer. He loves it. He goes in it every time right after he eats. It helps him to digest. Yeah. <sighs> so... Anyways, I don't know. I think, here's Ryan, by the way. I think that's like everything. Oh, we just put up our Christmas tree stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know, so basically we are just gonna keep reiterating that we're not doing videos often, maybe every couple of months. Um, if you want to follow us, I post a lot on Instagram. I guess it's another thing about Brinley. Um, Brinley, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see my stories. I make it seem like she never takes a nap. She's hysterical. You need to follow me so you can see my story. She is hysterical yeah, when she does not take stop. a nap. She sings to herself, she talks to herself, and she says the weirdest, craziest, funniest things.
Um, but she does take a nap. I would say she skips a nap every like third or fourth day. It's random. She's inconsistent. She's always been inconsistent. There we go. Now you're, now you're gonna stop. <laughs> That's just a quick little. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll put a video in. But anyways, um, yeah, she does take naps, but they're seriously like 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. I mean, it's it's awful. Like, I don't get a break. That's I think that's my biggest um, complaint is that I never get a break because she doesn't really nap long or nap at all. But anyways, so Brindley has a lot of changes coming up. She's getting her passies taken away. She's very close to getting a toddler bed, just putting the guardrail on her crib because she's starting to want to climb out. Yeah, it's just a couple times she's gotten real close to. And we don't want to like do everything at once. So I think the passies is going to start and then the guardrail on the crib and then go from there. And then potty training, which is a few months out. But anyways, we're doing good for the most part. We're just so busy. It's honestly, it's so busy with two kids. I think anyone can vouch for that. Um, and you know, every time Ryan has off, I feel like I try to catch up on life, so. yeah. Anyways, let's go see if Brindley wants to say goodbye, and she probably won't. Hey, Brindley, do you want to say bye to your friends? She's got a scratch on her face from your nails, huh? Say, see you later, alligator.